guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 13 and 14 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder if we're going to get a new opening today, because, I mean, you know, this seems like, I mean, I, I haven't watched all the openings for this show. I've watched the first and I think the last one, and they're pretty, so I think we might... A what? No, it's not open. Oh, an opening. So, is a basa like, or almost like a, a grade, I think it's grade four, curse in Jesus Shukaisen? Is it like that OP or some shit to the point where they have to call in, you know, the big leads because you can't tell me two what 14 year old kids are gonna be able to beat this thing right i mean mm -mm. don't tell me that. <laughs> do not tell me that shit today no because if that happens then they don't need any training anymore i mean they can just go ahead and go against benio's you know brother and kick some ass but they, no they're still gonna need some training just you know but if this thing is OP as fuck, <laughs> I mean, we ain't gonna know it till we see, but. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if it was, but I don't think it will be. I wonder if Maya does gonna make an appearance today. I mean, because we haven't seen her for like what two, three weeks now. Oh yeah, we're still in this situation, nigga. <laughs> well, you sir are a bigot and an ass, but you know who else is talking? Oh, I thought she was going to say, like, I must fight him. Oh, he's the, yeah. I mean, because, like, probably the way he killed Benio's um, parents, he, he killed them like they were nothing. See, my thing, especially with this Basa, because it, it seems like each one has, like, a story, quote-unquote. Maybe he has more. But, you know, he ain't gonna remember, like, every person, thing, whatever he's killed. Well, that's kind of a little too late, because Benio did something, and, you know, Benio almost died. Oh, of course, I gotta run away from you, right? Yeah, where exactly do you think you're going? 
No! Once again, another hard-headed child, Jesus Christ. You can't, not in this condition. If you do, you'll die. Excuse me. Exactly. You dying isn't going to bring your parents back to life. You're scared. You're afraid. Yeah, you need to train as well. I mean, so, you know, let's go ahead and, you know, put a bookmark right here and, you know, we wait until later. But you have to listen to not only him, but your body. for help, baby. Like you. Mm -hmm. You guys are pure opposites, but at the same time, you relate to so many things that it's not funny. Yeah, you know the dinner you were supposed to eat last week? Let him help you. Why is it so cold? It's hot as fuck outside, but it's cold in my room. Oh my god. Mm hmm. You've motivated him. So let him, <coughs> excuse me, motivate you. But he does. Mm-hmm. 
You may not think he does, but he does. Now, if Rokoto really actually ends up beating this boss at a, like, then I don't know what else to say to him. Good, ain't it? <laughs> oh, God. So, damn, you telling me that neither, you know, they belong to each other. No matter what, you telling me both of these children can't cook? Like, <laughs> oh Jesus! I you would think one, just one, would know how to cook. Shit, I'll be leaving. Do you really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Killed him. It's a traumatizer. Punches ain't doing anything to him. See, okay. Well, go to you say that, but mm, I, it's a no for me, baby boy. I'm sorry. You haven't done anything to him.
maybe just like a little mark, but like almost like a paper paper cut. I can't speak. But um, this basara, he about to kick your ass, huh? Um, see, this is when we, you know, we need to call Itadori Yuji. Call Gojo Sense. <laughs> Gojo. Gojo get this done in like two seconds. I mean, like, oh, because we're a little, you can't do this. Oh, God. Benio? If she does this, she's going to accomplish so much after this. She's going to be able to hold, <laughs> hold her, head, her head up high and be proud of herself. Rokuro, catch her! Yeah, by tomorrow you'll be fighting again. Oh, this might kill him, but he's the one thing he's been looking for y'all since like a couple two weeks now. Oh yeah, he died. <laughs> he can't come back from that. I mean, if he did, that would be a really interesting miracle, but nah, he, he's gotta be dead. You had to. Are you fucking? Fuck this. Are you? You are telling me that that didn't kill him. Excuse me.
What is the main goal? Mm-hmm. And you won't have to live in fear. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Nah, she's so precious. <laughs> they would be laying in that room. <laughs> But that doesn't mean you're weak, anyhow. It's okay to ask for help. You would have died. It'd be really funny if episode 13 was like a recap episode, but I don't think they're going to do that. I mean... <laughs> Please don't suffocate him. That's not good. <sighs> oh, Lyda! Also, like a filler episode. Okay, well, yeah, all right, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah let's go. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, she's right. If he didn't save her and do what he did, she would have been dead. And it just would have been real good old coming with the terms that, yes, she's dead and, you know, like, dealing with that and such. And I'm glad he was able to help her. In a way, they both help each other every single week. I mean, yes, once again, they are pure opposites, but they do relate very similar to things they are very similar even though they are complete and total <laughs> different 
two different types of people and you would honestly think that sometimes and I've seen this in real life and in other animes and movies and TV shows hell even in books um that opposites don't really always attract that you know eventually they they they'll get together but something is going to break them up or it they'll get together and they'll be stronger than they ever were and I think you know this is the first step in them to become this strong couple that we're going to see by the end of the series. By the end of the series, they will be still, even though they are still the twin star actresses, but they will possibly officially take that title for themselves. So since they're even, they're now known as the twin star actresses ever since episode one, episode two, they're kind of like, essentially also with them getting married and everything, they're, they're kind of like, nah, nah, like that's not us. We don't really accept it. But by the time we get to the end of the series, which I'm guessing is like, 50 episodes I believe and we're we're nowhere we're near it I think by the time we get to episode 25 that's essentially when we're going to get to the halfway point of this show um that is when they are really truly going to take the name for themselves and be like yeah we're this so the fuck what because now they're kind of like against it like no 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 I don't want this no 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 I have to marry him I have to marry her like fuck no <laughs> Because especially the fact is that they are young adults and stuff. They're teenagers and, you know, teenagers ain't really going to be thinking about marriage and shit. Like, you know, yes, yeah, someone my age, we we thinking about that and stuff, men or women. But yeah, a teenager? Oh, hell nah. They, they're, they're having the time of their lives right now. Like, mm-mm. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1 go maybe now we'll get the new opening who knows Ooh. Ooh, excuse me I ain't good and I just want to take a nap so pretty oh god See, she loves it because, you know, she's made it. But, you know, maybe they should both go to a cooking class. Oh, now we get the new opening. <laughs> Mm. 
Aww. I don't know why, but like that last little bit is just going to show how this series is going to end. I don't know. I mean, I've never really seen a show do that before, but hey, you never know. Bunny-o. Seriously? Oh, my God. They flirt so much that it's not even funny, but you can see that Maida is hella jealous. But similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, because in a way, slowly but surely, from the 13 episodes that we've seen of these two and their journey, they they can stand, they stand equally. Even though, yes, Benio was still a little superior more than Rokuro, but by the end of this, we're going to see them both on the same playing field, on the same level, where you can call them equals. They're they're basically, yes, kind of boyfriend and girlfriend, still married at the same time, little bit of rivals, frenemies, things like that. <laughs> they're literally just everything wrapped in one. Okay. Huh? Okay.
Benny O, what the? How could you have an episode three if he's dead? She's right too. He, you know what? He's very similar to Kyo from Fruits Basket. And I think I've said that before. He has a lot of damage. But he uses almost his anger and his words and a little bit of his softer side to express himself. Um, I've compared Benio to, like, Rukia because, I mean, the way she acts. But then in a way, she kind of almost somewhat, like, acts like Toru. Where sometimes she doesn't know what the right thing to say, how to say it, and such, and then eventually she does. It's just so cute. Oh. Hmm? Yeah? I want them to reach him too, but it's complicated. Oh my god. Benny, are we, are we... Yeah, not really defeated though, but they did do their best and they honestly still should be proud of that. Right? Because honestly, he should have died. They both should have died. I mean, but you know, since they are the main characters.
<laughs> you know this is the women's bath, right? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? I mean, unless it's like a mixed bath, but you know, that's okay if it is. I still don't trust Adima. Adima, God, he just reminds me of any other character I'm like teeter totting with. But like, I like you, but still, he has his own plans, and it's like I feel like he's just gonna betray him in the end. And he might, and he might not. He kind of reminds me of Kisuke Urahara from Bleach. <laughs> in a way, he's very kind of jokey and such. And sometimes you just want to punch him in this only little fucking face. And be like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. It makes you wonder what doesn't Benny I know? But she is smart and bright for her age. Probably one of the many reasons why Rokuro falls in love with her. Mm -hmm. You two are the two stars. Seriously, she fell down like freaking best girl from Monogatari. Honestly. <laughs> I wonder if we're 
ever truly going to still get an episode on Util. I mean, because he is the villain of this show. The main, main antagonist. It makes the most sense, in my opinion. We might even get it probably by, like, episode 20 to 25. But, you know, I'm impatient. <laughs> funny that you two finished at the exact same time. damn i went to see what it said okay so for a recap filler type episode honestly this was good i do like it i enjoyed it for what it was i mean you can see like let's talk about mida for a second i i do love mida i, fa I like the fact that you know slowly but surely she's still a supportive character in this show but she still gets to have her little tidbits and time to shine and such she can see the love oozing out of Rokoro and Benio because it's so fucking obvious. Even though Benio and Rokoro don't see it themselves. You know, because they always say the one who's always picking on you or arguing with you is the one who you're destined to be with and stuff like that. You know, I hate when your parents say that. You'd be like, no, like, no. <laughs> but it's working for them. They are both slowly but surely falling in love with each other because the way... Rokuro looked at Benio like, oh my god. And me as a female, I think other females can also, like, agree with me on this. And it happens all the time and we don't see it because we're, we have our minds on other things. It, they they show it in, like, all types of movies. Animated movies, um, TV shows, regular movies. You know how, like, when a female is looking at something like a flower or the moon, the stars, and like the guy looks at the girl because he's so head over heels in love with her. And you know, us as females, we're like, oh my god, like we fucking want that and such. And this should be like this is that and the third. And then you realize like it happens, but you just don't see it because you're not paying attention to him. Or sometimes you catch him in the act. Oh. It's so fucking cute! <laughs> yeah, they belong to each other. They really do. They really belong to each other. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, the romance aspect of this show, I love it. I'm, I'm a girl who likes a little bit of, like, everything, but especially when you get something that is action, but you also have romance to the point where it kind of gives you, like, the... The only two shows that I can kind of compare this to, and they are instantly romance shows, one that's from Amazon, and of course the other one's Fruits Basket, so that would be The World in Colors from Amazon and Fruits Basket from Fruits Basket, that damn series. <laughs> but um, when you have something like action and romance and you bring it together, it, it's really honestly one of a match made in heaven. I mean, yes, a lot of people will say like a rom-com is the best thing but sometimes an action romance series is really really good but yeah i i, I mean because like everybody knows and sees that love but they're, they're the only two who are like oblivious to it they don't see the love that they have for each other maybe like when it's like a moment where it's like kind of serious and 
Rokuro says something that's very motivating and inspiring and she takes it to heart and maybe she blushes or it's the other way around or just the little small glances that they look at each other, their hands touching them on the same page and that. There's so many different things that they do that is like a showing of love and that's going to be one of the many steps of them falling in love with each other. So yeah, by the end of this series, they're going to be together as much as like someone like me who is like oh no but he's cute with Mina and such because I can't imagine like when this show was airing and this episode came out and I think this kind of really hit the note for people who were shipping like Rokuro and Mina and kind of this was like okay this is like we're, we're killing this ship right here and now and saying that your ship is not the canon ship that this is it, it's very like okay like if you haven't read fruits basket this is big big spoiler true so we're gonna you like if you haven't read it go ahead and stop and in the video right now if you have then you do know who is the end game couple of fruits basket aka toru and kyo um as someone who still ships Toru and Kyo but also ships Toru and Yuki um and the funny thing is as someone who has read the manga and is watching this series from beginning to end and such um it is always a little hard for me to rewatch or um see the scenes with Yuki and Toru and see how much that he loves her but we know that they're not going to be together. And it, and it hurts. It's very similar to the love of Legacy and um, freaking Haru. Where he was like, it's okay if you don't love me. I'll still love you. If you want to be with someone else, that's okay. I just still want to protect you. And to have a love like that, it's okay. But it, in a way, it feels like one-sided. Where it's like, I don't give a shit about you. But, you know, we all know Haru loves Legacy. And Haru was slowly but surely coming to terms and saying, like, yeah, I love Legacy for what he is and who he is as a animal and such like that. I mean, I'm going a little too much into this, but yeah, I mean, still, it, it's a, a, a lot of comparisons to other shows with this series and such. Um, but yeah, big thing that I'm now kind of just hoping on is, yes, um, I need Benio's brother to get an episode strictly on him and his situation. I want to see a lot more funny moments between Rokuro and Benio. Um, I want to see moments between Maida and Rokuro because especially because to me in the last 13 episodes Maida is the supporting role. She doesn't get as much episodes so I'm guessing like they're probably going to continue that aspect with the remainder of this series even though the show is completely done already but i think by the way we're going we're getting that mm, anything else in between for whatever the hell i'm going to see next for this show that's all i really have to say but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of twin star exorcist if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16. Bye guys!